Manx Radio's Countryside is brought to you by NFU Mutual. Hello and welcome to this week's Countryside. I'm Kiri Kermode. And I'm Simon Clark. On this special Young Farmers Concert Edition, we look back at a very successful three nights at the Gaiety Theatre. We catch up with some of the prize winners, the helpers backstage and some of the sponsors on the night. Well, loads to get in on this programme, this special Young Farmers Concert programme, Kerry. Uh, lots of trials and tribulations, postponement of the event, but brilliant that the organising committee, the Young Farmers, managed to uh, move it to the dates uh, this weekend. And, of course, uh, big thanks to the Gaiety and Villa staff as well for accommodating it. Uh, it really was worth the effort, wasn't it? It really was. A pack three nights again absolutely wonderful uh, shows put on by all of the clubs and the hard work that goes in behind the scenes uh, it's just incredible isn't it Simon it certainly is we'll be hearing all four clubs little excerpts from their concerts as well and firstly I caught up with one of the judges at the half time our very own countryside sponsor Leanne McKeeman uh, from NFU Mutual uh, it's great to see you here this evening sponsors of countryside of course we are yes very proud sponsors um, but today, different role, you're in the, the hot seat. <laughs> I am, yes. I was um, a bit of a late addition, really, to the judges panel um, with the rearranging. I probably didn't know what I was letting myself in for, um, but I'm here, and wow, what a brilliant show. It's been so far absolutely amazing. Uh, have you been to the Young Farmers Concerts before, though? I have been to them before. Obviously not on the judges' role. I'm usually um, up and down stalls, but no, uh, so it's good, it's amazing. I'm a bit, I want to make sure, obviously, get the pick the right one, and then you know, but to see what comes. We've got two more acts to go, but so far they've been brilliant. Yeah, Kerry and myself have been in the hot seat of the judging before, and it's not easy because all the clubs have something different, don't they? Well, and I'm thinking as it as it goes on, I'm thinking, oh, that was brilliant, and then something else, I'm thinking, oh God, that was amazing. But no, it is, it, it's good, and you can see how much work goes into this, the pre-planning, um, and it really shows tonight. Yeah. And of course, a close association being with the NFU Mutual with the with the farm and community, haven't you? Well, I think that's probably why I'm getting him. I brought my partner with me tonight, and obviously he's not in the farm and community. Um, and if you are in it, it's laugh a minute. It really is, um, and it's it's the jokes, everything about it. The insurance side of things with the farmers and everything. It's a well respected thing on the Isle of Man, though. It's still. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, um, NFU Mutual, yeah. And um, well, that's our that's our main. Of the, that's who we are. You know, they're our farmers. So it's great to be here today. Obviously, representing the mutual um, and supporting the farming clubs. Yes. Two more acts to go, and then the, you've got to get your marks put in. Yes, I'm, I'm, it's going to be close, it really is, because um, as I said, they're all, they're all brilliant. I want to make sure I get the right one, I um, don't want to sort of be booed at the end, um, but hopefully, yeah, see, see what comes. But it's great that you the atmosphere, in, even in this bit where we're talking now, uh, during the halfway interval, it's just fantastic, isn't it? Oh yeah, the atmosphere is brilliant, everyone's enjoying the show, it's great fun, brings the community together, I mean we can see that by the numbers here today anyway, it's great for the Isle of Man, a br brilliant show and well done to everyone involved. Joint third on the night was the Northern and Southern Young Farmers, we'll be hearing from the winning dance instructor Sam Mitchell, but firstly the chairman of the Southern Young Farmers, Phil Kringle. Well, Phil Kringle, back on the Isle of Man now from the stardom as a professional rugby player to be dressed up as a lobster. Back in my natural habitat, I think that's uh, that's what that one's called, yes. Oh, brilliant. But as a chairman of the Southern Young Farmers, you must be so proud. Yeah, they're fa it's fantastic. I mean, like I'm sure what everyone else has told you as well, these shows don't just come together, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not just, as contrary to popular belief, it's not just a bunch of farmers rocking up two nights before. The work that goes in, and uh, I've got to say particular thank you to um, people like Helen Duggan, uh, Julie Mantelo, all the people who've done so in me more more. It's unbelievable the amount of work that goes into it to get all these costumes on stage is, is phenomenal. But it's been a real team effort this year. Um, last year it was probably left to a few not enough not enough people there was only a few individuals but um no dead proud girls won the dance as well big thank to sam that sam and georgia huge contestant yeah it's a big thing that's two years in a row as well so we're dead chuffed with that because they they you know what i mean uh, they rock up in 
the first week of January and, and uh, do an awful lot of work. Well, while the rest fierce of us competition slackers. in the dancing. It is a fierce, fierce uh, competition. But also to win that loudest trophy is just special. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, it's something that every, every year the girls put their sights on. And, uh, and they work they work really hard for it so yeah dead really tough for them yeah thoroughly really deserves and they're, they're here now backstage this is the bits that people don't see we're taking down the, the starfishes the octopuses from the ceiling yeah. the, the, the screen the stage background yeah it's a huge backdrop phil i yeah. mean like lots of foot long yeah i know it's uh, it's it took a bit of work doing uh, we were painting away in hampy's shed for the last few weeks um so yeah but it's it's all worth it do you know what i mean um i just couldn't be proud of the club Everyone pulling together, you know, we had three weeks off um, with, a, with a bit of snow that uh, halted proceedings. But um, <laughs> no, just, just glad to get it done. But as I say, the clubs, everyone's, everyone's down here after the event. Everyone's still down here helping out. Do you know what I mean? We couldn't be happier. What a, what a great group we've got. So, yeah, dead chuffed. Well, Sam Mitchell, a second win under your belt. Congratulations in the dancing. Yeah, it was a really big surprise this year because we actually thought every club had amazing dancing. And, yep, we're really happy and I'm so proud of them. They did look really fantastic on stage. The, the costumes were incredible under those lights. Yes, I think you can thank Helen for that. Um, yep, she worked hard getting those costumes on. We were still making costumes on Thursday <laughs> daytime, I think. What kind of effort goes into getting the girls on that stage? You know, there's 30 odd young ladies there, all in sync. How do you do it? A lot of counting, a lot of timing, um, especially because there's quite a few new members this year. So they have just slotted right in and the old girls have took them under their wings and it's just been one big family. So how do you start off with the, the song choice? How do you start the whole creation of a dance? Um, I think we have a meeting in the pub <laughs> and then we decide what the music's going to be. And then it's like about two or three of us are like, right, heads together. What are we going to do? Let's have a chat and yep, this is what we're going to do and that's how we go about it. So with your background, with the, the twirlers and everything else you do in your spare time, yes. obviously it does help with the young farmers. Uh, yes, it definitely does. Um, obviously I've been twirling for since 1979, so it's time to... Um, I think now retire from Young Farmers, I am going to hand the reins over to my daughter Georgia because she is finishing uni and she is ready to step up as well. She's done quite a lot of choreography this time as well. Oh. By Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, modern technology. But yeah. it is a team effort at the end of the day. Yep, and nobody could... Um, obviously, we couldn't do it without all these girls and their dancers and their parents for bringing them every Sunday. It's, you know, a big, big team effort. So, yep, lovely. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was a Ben McCree The winds blew up her bow dip down below My bully boys blow Hoy! Soon may the Max Bank come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the target is done We'll take all leave and go she had not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'll take that whale in tow. Hoy! Soon may the Max Bank come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the target is done, we'll take our leave. There we are. That was Sam Mitchell, a choreographer from the Southern Young Farmers, and Phil Kringle, the chairman. Well, joint third with the Southern with the Northern Young Farmers. We'll be hearing from their chairperson, Lauren Miller, very shortly. Firstly, Charlie Corkle. That's Derry Kizik. How are you doing, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Corkle, uh, what a performance as Derry Kizik for the Purple Helmets for the Northern this year. You must be absolutely delighted with coming away with the best uh, individual act in the, uh, in the Northern Club. Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, it was really good fun to do them and... We're good friends anyway, so it was easy enough to pull them off. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was really good on stage. <laughs> I was going to say, would he give you any tips? But uh... no, no, no good ones anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's watching tonight, so it was really, it was kind of nice to. They say you should never meet your heroes, don't they? But you know, he is. He's an absolute legend, and uh, he deserves to be represented in the appropriate way. And he has done a lot, a lot for the community on the island as well as going away on. And with the purple helmets raising a lot of money yeah it's brilliant though that and that's the spirit of the young farmers concert isn't it picking up local celebrities and sort of learning how they speak and how they act and how they move and i, I think that was what got the audience there uh, that the the coat the walk the speech 
yeah, no, I tried to uh, tried to imitate him as best I could, but it was difficult. Like it was difficult to do. It wasn't easy, but uh, you know, I kept every practice. It was somebody say, "Oh, you need to do this, or you need to try that, or try this, and see if that's a bit more like him." And, yeah, it does work. Works well. Like, uh, Let's get yeah. Ready. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? I hope you've only paid for the edge of your seats, because that's all you're going to need. Here we go, the figure of eight. Finely tuned machines. And that's just the riders. Here we go, dangerous, dangerous appliances here. Watch yourselves. They quickly and swiftly move into a different routine, but we don't know what they're doing. They, they just do whatever they want. Here we go, they're gonna do the pyramid, everybody. Give them a big cheer, everybody. Get them going for this. Let's make the call when they're ready. Off they go, look at this. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh no, he's fell off. Oh no. Is he dead? He always smells like that. But the whole club put in a great performance this year. Uh, the club, there's such a massive vibe in the club, Simon. It's, you know, you, me and you both know exactly what it's like in the Northern Young Farmers. And it, no matter what happens when it comes to results or anything like that, the Northern always party the hardest and have the most fun. And the, the amount of good, good people there is in the club, um, it's in safe hands. It's going. It's only going one way, and that's up now. Like it's really, I can't even express the amount of buzz there is within the club. It's really enjoyable to be involved with. Gonna have a tot now, Derry. <laughs> Gonna have a tot now. A tot. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll do yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I might have a, I might have a whiskey and lemonade maybe. I see how we get on. But it's probably Guinness. I think would be a touch of the juice. <laughs> well done. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Chairperson of the Northern Young Farmer Centre, Lauren Miller. Uh, tough night, yeah. and they all said it would be close at the end. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't quite swung the Northern's way this year, but what a great concert you put on. Yeah, definitely this year we've had like more support from like past members, and it's shown. I thought personally throughout our concert, having more of a help hand with props and writing the sketches and stuff. Um, so we've really pulled together as a team. I feel although we haven't won or done too great, the club's closer. And for me, I know it's a bit cliche, but that's probably one of the better outcomes you could have, isn't it? Better club. Yeah, well, I spoke to Charlie yeah, Corkle before, and he said the atmosphere in the Northern is as best as he's ever seen it, and he's been involved a long time. Yeah, well, it shows, doesn't it? You know, the other clubs are coming into our changing room and stuff, so it shows that we have got a good club relationship. So, hey, that's a win in our eyes. Better than winning a trophy, isn't it? <laughs> well, you've, you've absolutely, and so many younger ones involved in it as well. You must be proud of the performances they put in, especially young Hayden Bolton. Oh, Hayden, he's <laughs> another level of a kid. He's really confident, and it took, we, we gave him quite a big part um, for such a first year in his young age, but he just excelled in it, didn't he? Like, just so confident. But yeah, I'm really happy for Hayden and Charlie, Jem, uh, Jacob, Sophie and Bryony for winning. So, and well done to the other clubs as well. Yeah, and some great dancing in there as well. Um, I mean, nobody uh, could pick the winner of the who was going to be the best dance this year as well. And the, the girls are always proud of the performance they put in with the dancing as well. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we, the dancing's probably the one that you practice the most because it's obviously a lot of us aren't natural dancers me and myself I'm like a baby elephant so but no dancing it's a bit, always hard to call isn't it so but again you know Sarah Cobham does a great job with our dance routines yeah and what about next year not uh, not throwing in the towel I hope not not bloody chairwoman <laughs> anyway I'll tell you that no we looks like we've got a good team set up for next year so some of the younger ones are now moving up to take the roles on and stuff so this will finally be my final year as chairwoman no fourth year for me I'm afraid well you've done a fantastic job rallying the troops and you've got a great spirit going in the northern many congratulations thank you very much thank you chairperson of the northern Lauren Miller and also Charlie Corkle betraying Derry Kizik. <laughs> And in second place on the night was the Central Young Farmers and we caught up with Michael Deal, the chairman. First of all, many congratulations, runners up in the concert. You must be pleased with yourself and the club. Yes, thank you very much. Um, it's a big effort, the, the concert. 
and I'm very proud of all the central. They've really put in a good effort this year. Shame to miss out on first place, but I think we did we did well in the end. And Lee from uh, the Eastern Club, nice lad, and uh, glad for him. He was uh, dead chuffed, I think. Yeah, when we spoke to him, he was a little bit. He's a man of sort of few words, isn't he? But very humble and uh, thanking everyone that was involved in the Eastern because, as he said, you know, it's it's a team effort. And it has to be. Yeah, it was nice at the end. Um, he did a little few words on the stage. And, uh, you know, he thanked all the other clubs as well, which is really nice. And, yeah, he's a nice lad. I've known Lee for a while now, so it was nice to come second to him, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, there, I think over the last few years, there's just been a, a mutual respect from all the clubs, hasn't there? Everyone this year put on great concerts. There was just like a, a sort of level playing field where sometimes the, one club has been lacking behind a bit, but everyone's pulled their socks up a bit. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody's had to step up a level because everybody's seeing what other clubs are doing each year and getting better and better and uh, it is good to see and it gives the audience more of a you know show um which is which is really good and it makes it a bit tough for everybody sort of like, oh who, who's going to come first who's going to come second and it gives a good atmosphere but nobody's too sort of hard done by by the end of it i hope <laughs> no <laughs> well the the, the props just about made it to to the final night as well. Yeah, some of the props were a bit worse for wear <laughs> by the end of it. I know uh, the baths they had at Easton uh, took a few repairs. <laughs> but it's all part and parcel of it, and it's it's been part of the show for many years, hasn't it? The, the sort of, dare I say, Heath Robinson stuck together things that just about make it till the end, and it, it just makes something for the audience to crack at if something goes wrong too, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Mm. I think the audience sort of expect something to go wrong really and um, for example we had the wheelie bins this year and although we tried not to cause too much injury the bins did fall over every now and then which uh, always gets a good laugh <laughs> no no fingers off though <laughs> no i think there's a few grazed legs but no fingers luckily But all in all, the Central Club uh, in good hands? Yes, um, obviously a chairman this year, which has been a, been a pleasure so far, and we've got the rest of the year to go, so there's plenty of events coming up, including the agricultural shows, which is always a good thing for the young farmers to be involved with. But uh, yeah, I've got a, a good team around me, and good support also from my family and my girlfriend as well. You know, they put in a lot of time to help out and give up a lot as well, because it, it takes up a lot of your life, definitely. <laughs> Well, you're in a remarkable good shape considering uh, it's the day after the party. We're sorry we didn't get hold of you last night on the stage, but it was a little bit hectic unless you lot were the first to sneak off to the party, were you? <laughs> no, there's plenty of tidying up to do afterwards, but uh, yeah, some would say I uh, escaped the uh, madness. But uh, yeah, it was a good good night last night, and everybody, after the concert, you know, after the results, everybody just goes in the pub, has a pint, has a good time, has a party, and then uh, probably a hangover today. But Yes, it's uh, just a great thing to be part of. I really enjoy it. Chairman of the Central Young Farmers. A day late, but we got him anyway. Uh, that was Michael Deal. Well, the winners on the night this year were the Eastern Young Farmers. Here, a bit of their concert, and then we'll be hearing from their chairman, Lee Quayle. Also, Tom Kane, who was in the uh, winning act in the entire concert, along with Jason Moore. Now, I just don't understand... Well, the four of us were not accepted onto Love Island 2023. Then again, the three of us, four of us, are hardly walking adverts for the NHS. Don't talk to me about the NHS. I was in A&E the other night. Now, I don't want to bore you with the details, but the Dyson ball cleaner 
is a dangerously misleading product name. Well, after the cold spell we had a couple of weeks ago, I heard that Alf Cannon was urging mothers in Janet's corner to wear two pairs of pajamas to pick up the kids from school. Don't you mention that Alf Cannon to me. Did you know he made me the Tindall Party's Father Christmas? Why is that? Because he likes giving me this sack. Lee Quayle, uh, chairman of the Eastern Young Farmers. What a concert, and many congratulations. Deserve victory tonight. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you. Uh, over the moon. Can't believe we've won. But, yeah, just a massive thank you to everyone for, for taking part. All clubs, but especially our members. And a big shout out must go to Ali Harvey. She's been on almost every practice, keeping us in order and uh, keeping us on track. It, it just needs somebody, though, at the back of it all, just to keep it all together, doesn't uh, it? Yeah. yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> but the, the, the ideas from the show, uh, from, from your show, it's uh, a lot of practice gone into that. Yeah, well, we start in about January, and uh, it takes a lot of different people to come up with different ideas. And uh... It's a special thing, being chairman of the club, an honour, isn't it? But to be the chairman on a winning year of the Andy Young Farmers Concert, it uh, must feel extra special for you. Yeah, completely. Like, as long as much as uh, you've got to take the credit, you know, it's, it's, it's <laughs> it doesn't come just from yourself, it's from the whole team. And without them, I wouldn't be here. So, yeah, yeah. And, and as it flowed as well as it could have done, or there's been lots of sort of tears and heartache on, on the journey? Well, the Wednesday practice, we thought, what are we doing? It was mm, terrible. <laughs> but on Thursday night, everyone pulled together and, uh, yeah, couldn't have gone better. And same again, both Friday and Saturday night. Just went as well as it could have done. So, yeah. Well, you're a pretty quiet chap. But I'm sure that uh, there'll be a bit of noise in the Eastern Camp later for you. Ah, uh, for sure, for sure. Well done. Many congratulations. That's Thank a great you. concert. Well done. Thank you very much. Well, Tom Kane, you've come away with the uh, best individual act in the Eastern and best individual performer in the whole concert. You must be pretty delighted with that. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. To be honest, I just was happy to go to the nice show of people, and I didn't even expect anything. To be honest, I was just we just enjoyed the concert and it went well and I've got to give a big shout out Ali's already done all the thank yous but big thank you goes to Lee because he's put it all together yeah because he's a man of few words yeah, isn't he, you know? he is he, he wouldn't give himself any credit but he's you know he's done all that almost by himself Chloe's been a good help as well to him but you know everyone comes up with a couple of jokes here and there but he's done all the little link in between all the words that you don't come up with practices he's wrote all the script down he's got everyone in shape it's yeah, and Alison as well. They've both been couldn't done without both of them. Yeah, and that's what makes a difference in these concerts, isn't it? There's no gaps. It just flowed nicely yeah. from one to the other, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've got you got to have the rhythm. You know, some concerts, some years go a bit like you know you waiting for people on stage, but ours seemed to go well this year. That's first year being Eastern, as the boys were giving me stick for before. But yeah, it, it did go well this year, and yeah, hopefully yeah, uh, I'm gonna do it for a few more. Yeah, well, many congratulations. Uh, it was a good concert this year, and all the clubs uh, deserve credit there. They yeah. all put on good shows yeah. as always. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They like there was no definite winner, I didn't think, and they were all very tight. There was a few different types of shows, you know. Some had more songs in, some had more humour, and you know, there's a bit of a variety between the shows, but you couldn't be pick between them. And uh, yeah, it was a good concert all in all, I think. Yeah, many congratulations. Get that silverware. Be filled with something else other than uh, fresh air later, yeah, I'd imagine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Well. well, Jason Moore, better known as Choppy or Pork Chop or whatever you want to call him tonight. I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on the win for Eastern Young Farmers, but also the best act, uh, the synchronised swimmers. What a performance. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know yourself, Kerry, there's a lot of time and effort goes into something like that. Um, and to pull together on the night, it was, was amazing. Um, but you're always in that, that frame of mind that you don't want to be 
thinking that you're going to win, but when your name gets called out, it's it's something else. It and really it is. And it's weeks and weeks of practice. The ideas originally, you know, you've got to pull them together. Yeah, well, definitely. Um, you start start getting ideas together um, around about October, November. So I, we like to have a, a theme going into Christmas. So once Christmas is over and done with, come January, you, you smash it then right up until uh, Thursday night um, and, and it all pulls together like tonight it did. It's been absolutely amazing the last four, well, three nights really. It's been good. It really did look the part. And if anybody wants to see it, they can obviously go onto the Young Farmers uh, website and have a look or on the Facebook pages. But in little tiny hot pants, it was quite a simple sketch though, really. Well, there wasn't much room for error. <laughs> and it was a cold night, I'd like to add. It was a cold night. It's been a cold night for three nights. Um, no, it's been good. Um, and we, we've got a good club in Easton. We have, we really have. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased, but we have. Um, and I know she's going to hate me for this. But without Alison Harvey, I'm telling you now, this club would be nothing. She's been phenomenal in the 17 years I've been in Young Farmers. Um, she has really helped us, um, not just in, in dance routines, but in everything. She is, and she's an amazing woman, and, and, and she'll hate me for this, but she is. She's absolutely fantastic. Ah, uh, brilliant. So a few beers tonight, celebrate? A few beers before. Um, no, yeah, definitely. Honestly, it, it's been a, a phenomenal few days. I'm glad it's over, not in, a, not, in a, not in a bad way, but I'm glad it's over and done with now. We've got what we wanted, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm made up, I really am. Brilliant, huge congratulations. Thank you And now, much. well, we have the lady that they all say made it happen, Alison Harvey, congratulations. It's not me, it's the club. Oh, they, sure. they, <laughs> they put the concert together. I just come along and shout a lot. <laughs> I'm the shouter, so But well, everybody yeah. needs discipline, and that's how it all comes together on the night. The judges are looking for that. They're looking for slick, good performances, and you obviously had it. Uh, yeah, I do like continuity. That's my OCD coming out, so everything's got to flow. But I'm really pleased. I was just looking at this club, and I won it in 1984. Oh, my word. Before yeah. I was born, so. goodness me. <laughs> So, no, yeah, that's amazing. A few years ago. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Cheeky son in the background here. But well, yeah, I'm so chuffed for the club. I'm chuffed for Lee. They put a lot of work in. And especially with it being delayed, you know, keeping the momentum going has been really hard. So congratulations to all the clubs. They've been brilliant. So they put on a really good show and we were just lucky enough to win it this year. There we go. That was Lee Quayle, the chairman of the Eastern Young Farmers, Tom Kane, Jason Moore, Alison Harvey, who all took part in the concert. Yeah, very good it was as well. Well done to the Eastern Club on uh, this year's concert. Very good. Uh, the chairman of the Young Farmers Federation here on the Isle of Man was Nikki Kane. She was bright and bubbly on all of the nights and even when we were backstage afterwards. You were on great voice tonight. You really got the audience going and set up the show before even any of the clubs got going. Oh, it's great fun. It always helps when you've got a great crowd in. Um, they were absolutely brilliant tonight, sort of laughing at everything and it just gives encouragement to the clubs and it was just it was just so much fun and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and, and, and you know, the Eastern have come out on top this time but uh, everyone was given that, ooh, I'm not sure you know who put it was linked together nicely I think the Eastern wasn't it yes it was it was absolutely brilliant you know just hysterical laughs every night but it was absolutely super when you're talking to people after um, every night it, it was just so close no one could really call it and I think that's so nice that everyone was sort of on a par everyone had the great bits the hilarious bits each club so it was just it was just nice that everyone went out there and we finally got to do them all <laughs> but no credit to Easton it was it was hilarious and so so well put together so yeah well done Easton yeah well you've been there and, and being involved with it, you know the hard work that goes in it and even extra special this year <laughs> yeah. with it being moved. <laughs> yes, yes, we thought we were nearly there three weeks ago and then and yeah, then made it made it safe and luckily the Gator Theatre was so good and they were able to get us in in this weekend. So yeah, an extra three weeks practice, which sounds like it's a good plan, but when you're sort of on a high, ready, ready to go and then it all to be stopped, it's sort of getting that motivation again. But I think actually all the clubs benefited from they put on great shows and it was just lovely to see everyone coming together, cheering on each other's clubs and um, high, everyone was on a high, it was brilliant. Yeah, well you'll be on a high for a week or so after this uh, and tonight of course and then it'll be back to 
uh, normal, more serious chairman's duties, will it? Yes, the events, I think, start coming in. I think we start judging and we've got, yeah, we've got lots of events coming up, so it'll be good. But yes, I think it sort of will be sad when, I, when I'm not singing heads or tails <laughs> as we go along anymore. Um, but it's, no, it's always so good. And then you get the post, post-concert post blues and I will definitely miss it and I think everyone will. But it'll be nice to sort of relax and get stuck into other Young Farmers events. Yeah, well done anyway. It's been a great success. Oh, no, thank you. There we are. That was Nikki Kane, the Federation Chairman for this year. I caught up with also the sponsor of the evening from Conister Bank, Lee Gale. And we'll also be hearing from the Secretary of the Federation of Young Farmers, Bryony Neal. Well, Lee Gale, uh, main sponsor here tonight at the Young Farmers concert. A full house and, well, the stage was just packed. Yeah, it was brilliant. I thought all the acts did really well tonight. Um, you see the work that goes in from everybody and uh, uh, you know from the little ones up to the up to the seniors it's brilliant and what does it mean for you as a company to represent them yeah it's it's massive i mean you've seen from the video that we showed at the end you know we support agriculture in a massive way they're, they're a big part of our sort of customer base and it's something that we will continue to support well brian it finally happened the young farmers concert hey Amazing. I know, it seems to have gone so quickly now that it's finally come, but yeah, it's been the best weekend as usual. Highlight of the year, definitely. And the stage tonight, absolutely glittering from the littlest to the biggest. It just looked absolutely brilliant. It was. The clubs, you know, it's just all the members, we literally could not do it without them. And they all put so much effort in and it's, you know, trying to keep everyone motivated since it got postponed. But they've all done like an amazing job. All the helpers, you know, the parents, everyone down to the sensors, the gate staff just it couldn't have gone any better. Yeah. And I bet you're relieved as well. I am, yeah. There's a lot of admin that leads up to the concert, but just to see it all come together and see our members, you know, first and foremost, just happy, smiling, enjoying themselves. Like, I'm like a sucker for standing side of stage in everyone's concert to do a little dance with their uh, dancers and everyone's just absolutely buzzing. So, yeah, it's great. And for you also to take part in the Northern as well and to come away with a great joint third. Yes, represent Northern. So it's fab, yeah, we're, we're very happy to be joint with Southern in third place there. But um, no, wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't go without it. Love there. Uh, love getting on stage with everyone it's all a big family in the end and obviously Easton won so they're very very happy as you can probably hear in the background <laughs> well well done a well earned gin yes I think so maybe more than one but we'll see how it goes <laughs> thank you very much Thanks, Thanks, that was the sponsor for the evening Conister Banks Lee Gale also Bryony Neal the secretary of the Federation of Young Farmers well done to everyone involved and the Gaiety staff as well for putting on a brilliant three nights of the Young Farmers concert. Uh, we tried to squeeze in as much as we can on this 25-minute programme, but the podcast will be available on Manx Radio's website free of charge. You can download that and listen to fuller versions of the concerts and the interviews as well. But that's it for this series of Countryside. I'd like to thank you, Kiri, and our producer for the Countryside programmes, Howard Kane, as well, for doing a sterling job and uh, we'll be back in a couple of months time so until then from me Simon Clark and me Kiri Kermode we'll see you then bye 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 bye